So the final thing for this artboard is to make our clouds look a little bit more visually interesting. So I'll select the cloud at the upper portion, pick up my zoom tool, and then just zoom into that region nice and close. I'll switch back to my selection tool just to make sure that's the only thing active. And then I'm going to go down to this tool just here. It kind of looks like Loch Ness with a paddle, but it's called the width tool. You can reach it by pressing shift and W as well. And if I left click on that, then the bounding box disappears. And then what this will allow us to do is something that you can't really do in two of the many places inside of Illustrator, which is to hover over the path, click and hold down the mouse, and then drag away from that path to thicken that region and let go. It has width handles that you can click and drag and you can thicken, hover over and drag back to the path to make it thinner. And you can even go to a different part of the path, hover over, click and drag and thicken that portion. Just be wary of how many of those points you do add to your object. Notice that the lovely flowing thickness and the varying path only works through anchor points that have handles attached to them. They stop at the bottom edge. So you would have to hover your cursor over this region, click and hold down the mouse and drag away to thicken that portion because these are corner points. If I hover my cursor and pan with the hand tool down here, you can jump straight to another object, hover over it and then click and drag. If you find that when you drag away from the path and it doesn't change, try dragging on the inside of the path and then let go of the mouse. And you'll notice that you can then hover your cursor over the center point of that width and you can click and hold down the mouse and you can drag that along the path to another position like so. Hover over the handles, thicken them, hover over the middle point and reposition that somewhere else. You'll just have to make sure you drag your cursor along the actual edge of the path. Let go and you get that appearance. Just be wary also of clicking and holding down the mouse and creating two width points very close to one another. You'll get some very odd appearances. If that's what you want to go for, great. But you can always hover over and left click on the point, hit the delete key or the backspace key in the keyboard. In this case, it removes the point, but doesn't delete the path. Hover over that, click and drag and move that somewhere else like here. And you have that appearance. And that's the width tool. Very handy for creating simple but nice visual effects.